If you've gone into a document and applied a theme and then decided some of the styles that you're going to use with that theme need to be modified and you update, just as we did with our London Hotel Guide in this chapter, you may then realize, I want to use these settings going forward on future documents. Well, there is a way to do that. We can save our own style sets as well as themes, and that's what we're going to do. So if you jump to this movie, just open up LH Guide 0604 from the Chapter 6 folder of your exercise files. Click anywhere in the title and you can see we're using the title style up here, which we modified. Same thing down below when we click in West End London or Latin Quarter Paris. That's the Heading 1 style, but we updated that as well. So if we want to keep these for future use, all we have to do is save the style set and the theme and we'll have it at our fingertips when we need it. So let's go up to the design tab and we'll start with the style set. We started with this one here, which is called centered and we made those adjustments. So if we go over to the very first thumbnail here in our style sets, you can see it's this document style set. And when we right click it, we have the opportunity to save it and give it a name. Let's do that. We'll call it, how about Landon? Or if we're going to have multiples, we might want to number them. Landon 1, for example. It's going to go to the Quick Style subfolder under Microsoft. And all we have to do is click Save. And we have the new style set. And you're going to see it up here as you hover over the one after your current document style set is your custom one called Landon 1. Now, we might want the theme as well, which comes with these sets colors, fonts, etc. Let's go to the themes drop down and instead of selecting one of the preset themes that we see on the list, we can go down and save what we have in front of us as a current theme. Give it a click. It's going to be stored here in the document themes folder along with theme colors, effects and fonts and by default it's going to be called theme and a number. It's going to be a one if this is your first time doing it like me. Let's give it a name though. How about Landon one again? That's because we can have multiple custom themes. When we click Save, we now have a new theme with a new style set. So let's switch documents now. You can go ahead and open up LH Press Release 0604. It's a press release. You can see it uses a totally different look, different colors. You can see the quick styles look different. Scroll a little further down and it looks like we have some headings here. When I click in about the Landon Hotel San Francisco, yeah, that's heading one different from what we were just working with in our Landon Hotel guide. But let's go up to the design tab now and we'll go to themes. Click the drop down. Check out the custom section that just appeared with Landon 1. As you hover over it, you can see how it changes. Give it a click and we now have a nice looking document using our own theme. Scroll up to the top. You can see the title looks a little bit different, but Let's go into the style sets. You can see there's a Landon 1 style set here and when we select it, it looks exactly like our Landon Hotel Guide. Scrolling through the document, we have exactly what we want now going forward. 